Today we'll learn about sedimentary rocks. There are three main types of rocks, and rocks are classified by how they form. We've already learned about igneous rocks, and today is sedimentary. Sedimentary rocks form at or near Earth's surface in a five-step process. So before we go through the steps of the process, think about this happening at the bottom of a lake or a river, or someplace where the wind is blowing very gently. The first step in the process to make a sedimentary rock is weathering. This is the breaking of existing rocks into tiny pieces called sediment. So when water or wind moves over rocks, it breaks them down into smaller pieces very slowly over time. Next, erosion happens. This is when those tiny pieces of sediment are taken to another place by the movement of wind or water around it. Third is deposition. This is when the tiny pieces of sediment are placed in a new location. Next is compaction. This is when the sediment is layered and pressed together. So as more and more sediment is layered on top of other sediment, it makes layers, and then the bottom layers get pressed together by the weight of the overlying layers. Finally, cementation happens. This is when minerals in groundwater that's moving around act like glue and stick the sediment together and it finally turns into a rock. So it has to go through all five of these steps in order to change from one type of rock into a sedimentary rock. The five steps are weathering or breaking the rocks, erosion or taking them to a new location, deposition is placing the sediment in a new location, then you press it, compact it together, and finally you cement it together or glue it with minerals. You can remember these five steps with the first letters. W-E-D-C-C, -C, weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and cementation. There are three kinds of sedimentary rocks, and these are vocabulary words that you'll need to know. The first type is the clastic sedimentary rock. Clastic sedimentary rocks are made up of pieces of pre-existing rocks. These pieces are sometimes known as clasts. Clastic sedimentary rocks may have particles ranging in size from microscopic clay that's like the size of a dust particle to huge boulders. And the texture can be fine grain, coarse grain, or a combination of both. Some examples that you can see on the right-hand side of the screen our sandstone at the top. Sandstone is a very distinctive type of rock. It's recognized by its beautiful, like very well-defined stripy layers. And these layers have a special name called strata. Just like the stratosphere was a layer of the atmosphere, strata are layers in a clastic sedimentary rock. Conglomerate is another type of clastic sedimentary rock. It's noticed by its rounded pieces of sediment that are glued together with minerals embedded in the fine uh, particles of clay in between. Underneath, you see breccia. And breccia is a lot like conglomerate, except its pieces are very sharp and jagged. The second type of, organic, of sedimentary rocks is organic. Organic sedimentary rocks are made from the once living remains of plants and animals. Over time, the skeletons collect in layers with other sediment, and they're buried, compacted, and cemented together. Sometimes you can see fossils in the rocks. Sometimes you can't. Some examples up here at the top is fossiliferous limestone, and this forms in ocean environments. So the types of fossils you'll see in this type of sedimentary rock would be sea creatures. Coal is also an organic sedimentary rock. Even though you can't see fossils in the coal, it's made out of the remains of once living plants and animals that were compacted in a swampy environment and then it um, began to decompose and the heat of the decomposition and the overlying layers pressing it together turned it into coal over millions of years. And in the bottom you see something called a Petoskey stone and it is fossilized coral. Now this example is polished so it's, you know, the colors are very bright but this is coral that was living in an ocean environment millions of years ago, and now it's turned into a rock. 
The third type of sedimentary rocks is chemical. Chemical sedimentary rocks form when water, usually seawater, evaporates. The minerals that are left behind become concentrated and they crystallize. And some examples are halite, which you learned about in your minerals lesson a couple of weeks ago. Um, gypsum is a, a, a sedimentary rock that's used to make drywall and cement. And limestone, you see a limestone quarry down here in the bottom, and limestone is used in building materials and toothpaste. But all three of these were formed when ocean water evaporated and the minerals in the water worked and glued all the particles together in crystallized form. So some important vocabulary from this section, sedimentary rocks form at or near Earth's surface through a five-step process of weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and cementation. And it's easy to remember them in that order by their first letters, W-E-D-C-C. A clastic sedimentary rock is made of pieces of other rocks. And sandstone is a clastic sedimentary rock that has layers called strata. An organic sedimentary rock is made of the remains of living things, so it will have fossils in it. And a chemical sedimentary rock is made when water evaporates and the remaining minerals crystallize to form a sedimentary rock. And here's some pictures of sedimentary rocks that I took on my trip out west to Utah and Arizona to Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon, and Antelope Canyon. And it's just a landscape that is full of sedimentary rocks. And you can see the strata. Um, you can see in this canyon, this canyon was formed from blowing wind. It's just a beautiful rock formation. And you can see how you know, the sand on the floor is evidence that um, weathering and erosion is happening presently. And underneath all this sand, new sedimentary rocks are forming underneath all the weight of the sand that's breaking off when wind blows against the particles. But these rocks formed over millions of years. And here's your Bryce Canyon. Can you see the strata? within the rock layers. And these spires that are forming in the, the rocks are called hoodoos. It's just a beautiful, it's almost like an alien landscape, but it's formed. Um, these are sedimentary rocks and they are um, part of the rock cycle. So I hope you learned some important information about sedimentary rocks. And if you have any questions, make sure you reach out for help.